Heyo, we are Zima and Alex, we are athletes of Nazovet Team Russia and Ukasugar Turn Team Sweden. And in our last camp in Portugal, we met some top athletes and asked them some questions about new season and so on. What is your main goal on this season? Uh, World Championships uh, in Estonia are my uh, main goal and uh, I really would like to do good in uh, middle distance mm -hmm. and relay. I'm not sure yet about the long distance. Uh, of course the World Championship in Estonia is my main goal and I will focus us on long and middle distance as long. Uh, definitely World Champs. Uh, we'll see a little bit how, how uh, I'm feeling in into it. Uh, I haven't decided what I want to run yet, uh -huh. but uh, for sure uh, middle distance and relay and then maybe long, maybe sprint, maybe sprint relay. We'll see how, how good I am. Well, uh, the main goal is the world champs and um, yeah, I want to focus in a sprint and middle. Okay, tell about your club competition. Yeah, of course, um, the number one competition coming is uh, Tumila with my uh, Finnish club, Kalevan Rusty. Uh, we have a pretty good team and uh, we really want to do well, so... I want to do well uh, some ra races with the Scandinavian team, like Ducol and Tiomila, so those are the, the big goals of the season. Yeah, of course, uh, it's all, always important. Team Mila, Jukula, uh, uh -huh. Nighthawk and Shifemmana, those four, uh, uh -huh. ma mainly Team Mila and Jukula for us. Uh, we got a, a really, really fun team. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm uh, one of the oldest, me and Ruslan Glebov, and uh, um, the other ones are really young, so I think we have a good opportunity to... If in the future you have children, they will be orienters. <laughs> I really hope, but uh, I'm not going to force them to anything. Uh -huh. Of course, I really hope they want to enjoy orienteering as I have done. Uh, probably, <laughs> well, uh, they have to decide for themselves, I think. But uh, if I if I have anything to say about it, they probably will. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> well, I I will teach them uh, all the sports I know, and then they will decide. But I hope they choose orienteering. Okay. I don't know, we will get a kid uh, at the end of July, oh. so I don't know, we will see, uh, we will not push him in uh, any direction and uh, of course he, if he, he or she enjoy orienteering, we will uh, do our best to help him or help her, but uh, we have no stress, we just uh, want uh, that the she or he is very active and do at least do some sport. How do you think one time a rim steering will be Olympic sport? I, I think it's uh, a long time till it will be. Um, uh -huh. I think it's uh, it depends a little bit on how uh, how the International Orienteer Federation wants mm -hmm. to move forward. But I think that we should focus on our own on our own sport and see if it grows and then it should be a part of the Olympics. Uh, it's hard to say, but at the moment I like the way it is. I mean, uh, maybe if it is Olympic, we can get more money and this stuff. But at the moment, it's like the, the essential is, is good like this. So I, I don't care so much about it. I just <laughs> want to run. And... It's uh, hard to say, like uh, at the moment uh, I think they, they more like try to, to get like some very fun sport and things like this, so probably orienteering is like a little bit uh, too complicated and not that fun for uh, normal people, so I don't think but there is no big stress and we will see what uh, happens in 10, 20 years. No, I don't think so. I think I think it's too difficult, and I think we should be very happy with the situation we have today, with a nice sport in the nature. And if you are going to the Olympic, it will be a completely other sport than we are having today. Like we will not have events like this in the Olympics, I'm quite sure. Would you like to visit Russia for camp or competition? 
Yeah, of course. I've never been there and I would like to be there some, sometime. I, I have seen some maps, but I don't know so much about Russia and I would like to. Yeah, of course. I mean, like, uh, for me, I have never been in Russia and uh, sometimes I have been training pretty near the Russian border when I'm in uh, Yuansu and uh, for me, I have seen maps from Russia and I know there is a big orienting community and uh, it seems really like a fantastic country for orienting and you have such amazing space like uh, probably you have like fantastic uh, terrains to discover so i really hope one day there will be a world championships or a very big competition organized in russia and uh, i get the opportunity to bring my runners uh, as a coach yeah of course of course uh, i have seen maps on world U maps on world of U, and it, there is a lot of nice terrains uh, every, a lot of places in russia so yeah, true thank you're you. welcome yeah, thank you yeah, sure, absolutely. That'll be fun. Uh, I have never been to Russia. It's a shame. There's never any orienteering competitions in Russia for like mm -hmm. World Cups or something. Mm -hmm. The ski orienteering have always in Russia, every yeah. winter, but never orienteering. So it will be fun, yeah? Uh, who is the best orienter in the world right now? <laughs> <laughs> of course, uh, I mean, when you are an elite orienter, you, you need a very strong self-confidence. So <laughs> I will answer it's me, of course. I, yeah. <laughs> but uh, of course there are several uh, big names at the moment and uh, it's hard to say it's like uh, it depends so much of the terrain type and of course if we compete in France I will be the best by far because I have a lot of experience but if we compete in Sweden then it will be very hard to, to beat the Swede and uh, the Norwegian for example like we have seen at World Championships so the type, and if we are in Switzerland of course the Swiss runners they are like super strong so yeah, I'm, I'm uh, for sure one of the best <laughs> of course Terry is the best uh, uh, at the moment but I'm trying to beat him every day and yeah, we will see in the world rest now oh I, I was gonna say Ola on, in the men's but uh, he got beat uh, here at home so maybe Terry uh, anyway uh, and uh, Ola and Matthias Kubus I, I'd say those two for me? Over yep. Me. Yeah, for me it's Thierry. Thierry does it. Please uh, give some advices for really? beginner orienters. Take take part in a lot of the events, as many races as you can, because that's the best training you can get. Uh, I would say that the, the most important thing is just to have fun and uh, focus on what you what you like with orienteering. And if you really enjoy it, you want to continue. Uh, yeah, just enjoy as much as you can and take it as a as a hobby, not as a, a yeah. You just need to enjoy the sport as much as you, uh -huh. as you can, and, and then the result is like secondary. It, that will come later, but at the moment it's just have fun and enjoy the, the forest. And... Yeah, I think like um, for beginners, like you really need like uh, to spend a lot of time uh, in forest with the map and. Uh, like uh, it's really important like to to have a goal uh, some kind of dreams and um, of course you will fight hard every day with uh, your map and compass to to make it happen so for me it's uh, basically more important to have a strong dream than really to be good because if you have the dream it will be very easy to to focus on uh, the technical part the physical part but the uh, most important is really to, to have a big enough dream and uh, it will take some years like uh, if you want to become world champion but as long as you have this dream you, you can use like 10-15 years and make it happen so the most important is to dream big.